Good morning. It's May 3rd at about what time is it? 5:45. 5:45. Back where we were yesterday evening where we put these birds to sleep. Uh Chris will start getting our stuff on and he's in there real quietly while it's still good and dark. Try to get pretty close to him. called good but just didn't want to commit I don't know what it is but once they hit the ground they was moving like they had somewhere to be so they got over on private pretty quick so we're gonna give a call right here one more time I think and then try to move on to the next property the rooster yeah right. made it to the next property been scanning seen a few turkeys fields they're kind of far out we couldn't tell if they're gobblers or hens but it's still early we're gonna ease in here and see if we can get on them to see see what they are get up to that edge of them look over in that green field over here we get right up there we'll be able to see into the cornfield I believe the turkey's right on the other side. Gotta get up there so we can see. Oh, follow this trail. Just keep going this deer trail. Might find a big shed. We made it to the top of this bluff. We got a cornfield on this side and a wheat field on our other side. And we seen some two turkeys in the field over here in this cornfield from the road. But they were so far we couldn't tell if they were hens or toms, even with our binoculars. So we made a big loop, came around and got up on this bluff, kind of where we thought they were headed. And when we got up here, 
we realized they were hens. So, and it's, hey, that's how it is. But, nonetheless, we got to see some pretty country. Kansas is pretty, man. So we're going to hang out here just for a second, pack up all our stuff, and go to a new property. Uh, just to see what we can see there. If that don't work out, the plan is to go back to where we were on those turkeys this morning. We know we got two long beards there, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up in that field, and hopefully they come back to roost there, and we get it done this evening. So y'all stay tuned. We'll catch you at the next property. Get by you. I can't see out there. I want you to kill him. I wasn't gonna kill him. I was gonna let him all by. That's what he got. That's why I said, can you get a shot? <laughs> they just picked him in that fast. Dude, I got him more full strut and everything on camera. I, I seen him strutting. No, you <laughs> when I just looked over, you said I'm finna kill him. I looked up and I seen him right there. I heard it, I heard him dragging his wings to the grass. I heard him drum, did you hear him? I heard a We couldn't have a better setup. No. But I never seen him come by me though. But dude, I, I couldn't see anything right here. All I could see was straight from me. Only way I could have killed him if he come down this road. That's the only way. Look at that. When I seen him, Eric. See him? I heard when he gobbled last time. I said, "I'm not gonna call again because he's coming, right?" Yeah. And I heard him drumming. I just heard him drumming. Like what? You didn't. Have, you do not see. You couldn't see anything through there because he had to walk right, right, right there. All right, it's 3:45. We got here at about 3:15. Just happened to see this guy by himself, so we made a big circle around and circled around on him and called one time to him. He answered and. Within 20 minutes or so, he closed the distance. It's more like a textbook textbook hunt. Uh, what do you think, 30 minute kill 30 since minutes? we seen him? Yeah, 30 minutes since since we seen him. So We seen him, walked about 300 yards down, 100 yards across, and then set up, and then he came 300 yards within 20 minutes. <sighs> this is my first Rio, and I couldn't be more excited. Beautiful birds. Oh, they're good beautiful bird. birds. That's pretty light wings. So we're gonna move on to the next spot and try to get Eric one. Y'all stay tuned. If you like what you see and give us a like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.